Mr. Speaker, the Oman Federal Constituency and those states. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to move that we waive relevant sections of our rules in order for the House to resolve into executive session. I so move. Mr. Speaker, my leader, I rise to second the motion as very heavily moved by the House leader. I so second. Those in support of the motion that the House will resolve into executive section say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, environmental or developmental challenges. They say aye. Those again say nay. This is coming from the chairman at the Laws of Federation of Nigeria 2004. Ismail Aruna, member representing Abedi. Honorable Abedi is invited to present the report. Omagaji is invited to present the report. But I heard that the deputy is here. He's not in the house. Nine one. HB 159. So this conversation is going to continue on Tuesday, from now to Tuesday, when we will have a special section where we will invite these resource persons to be here in the house to engage us. Thereafter, we we'll decide which way to go. This is to be able to make sure that it is well documented that we did our consultation in the form of executive section, and we are continuing that conversation. Um, till next week, uh, Tuesday. Thank you very much. Consideration of uh, reports that have been presented because of the unique sitting today, some of the issues will go into to, uh, Tuesday's uh, sitting. Of these um, bills of yesterday, I rise to move that we suspend the relevant rules to enable us to take, take one consolidation of bills and then proceed to consider reports that have been laid because of the exigency of time. I so move. Motion say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Artificial intelligence and robotic studies, Chomulu, Lagos, and for related matters, HB 143. A bill for an act to provide for establishment of the National Artificial Intelligence and Robotic Studies Regulatory Commission and for related matters, HB 601. A bill for an act to ensure proper use, control of usage of artificial intelligence technology in Nigeria and for related matters, HB 942. A bill for an act to regulate the development and use of artificial intelligence in Nigeria and for related matters, HB 1810. Mr. Speaker, I so move. We consider one of the reports because of uh, the urgency of it, the one on the army. And other ones have been told that the reports are yet to be presented, so we will take them on, um, on Tuesday. So. led by the ad hoc committee on confirmation and screening of the acting chief of army staff. I so move. Yeah, minority leader. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. The house now 
resulting to committee of the whole to consider the report of this ad hoc committee. On confirmation screening for acting chief of army staff, I now invite Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson to give us the synopsis of this um, report. A report on the ad hoc committee on confirmation and screening of the acting chief of army staff of November 2024. The parliament graciously appointed us to screen the acting service chief. We did that yesterday. We reviewed his CV. We questioned him on various issues, which included interagency synergy, civilian military relationships. Our observation, sir, is that General Olatubosu Oluyode is fit and proper, and gave a very good account of himself. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, we urge that this House do approve this new position as a new Chief of Army Staff. I so move, Mr. Speaker. He doesn't need... Uh, he just... Uh, Synopsis, that is not a motion. And uh, honorable colleagues, there is only one recommendation in this report. And that recommendation says that the ad hoc committee carefully and thoroughly engage with the nominee for the position of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Olufemi Ola Tubusom Oluyede, and was satisfied with his academic and professional qualification. Exposure, conduct, character, experience, and general performance. The ad hoc committee also observed that the nominee displayed wide and in depth knowledge on strategies, tactics, and military operations as exhibited during his acting capacity. The question now. They now say, consequently, the ad hoc committee do hereby recommend that Lieutenant General Olufemi Olutubuson Oluyede be confirmed as the Chief of Army Staff of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, having successfully undergone the screening process of the Adult Committee. Honorable colleagues, this is the recommendation. Carried. Leader, please move that the House resolve to plenary. Reverse to plenary to report progress from Mr. The Chair. I rise to move that the House to resolve to plenary so we can get a report from the Chairman on the Constitution. This is the Chairman's report, honorable colleagues, from the House in Committee of the Whole... Order, order, please. The House in Committee of the Whole considered the report of the Ad Hoc Committee on confirmation screening for acting chief of army staff and approved the only recommendation therein that Lieutenant General Olotoboson Uluyode be confirmed as the chief of army staff of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Leader, please move that the House do adopt the report of the Committee of the Whole as a working instrument of the Parliament. To move that the House do adopt the report from the Committee of the Whole as a working instrument of Parliament. I so move. Thank you. Report of this motion say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The report of the Committee of the Whole is hereby adopted as a working instrument of the Parliament. So that they will give us an alternative member that will speak the mind of your state 
in that uh, committee. Please take the Constitution Review Committee seriously. Let me also thank you for the wonderful deliberation we had during the executive section and our agreement to continue in our consultation on these tax bills. Please do consult as you go on this weekend. Come back with more robust idea and debate as we look into this matter finally on Tuesday. I wish you happy deliberation and consultation. Leader, please. Leader, before you move uh, for the adjournment of the House, please move that we suspend our rules and approve the vote and proceedings of today. Suspend our relevant rules and also approve the votes and proceedings of today. Those against any, the ayes have it. The, I hereby examine and approve the votes and proceedings of today, the 28th day of November 2024.